Those are the values I learned out in Valentine. Those are the values that I learned out in Butte. Those are the values I learned with these people who are here that I tried to instill in my students that I took to the United States Capitol and took to our state Capitol. Now it's time for Vice President Harris and I, as we're running on these values, let's take them to the White House. Let's take them to the White House. It's time. It's time. Yesterday, yesterday, Vice President Harris rolled out a plan to start building an opportunity economy during our first 100 days in office. <laughs> Cutting taxes, not for the billionaires, but for the folks in this room and the middle class. <laughs> Taking on those who will price gouge at the grocery stores and other stores. <laughs> Lowering the cost of rent and the opportunity to own your own home. Continuing to cut the cost of prescription drugs that, drugs that we all depend on. And just like we did in Minnesota, relieving medical debt that straps millions of people. Now look, we're positive, but I think we all know Donald Trump sees the world a little differently. You think he would understand the importance of Carhenge as a historical relic? That the British made a replica of it out of stone. It's so important, so just so we know. Or do you think he would know the joy of tubing and swimming the Niobrara as we do in the summer? And this one's for the gray hairs in this room. Do you think that guy could understand the pure joy of pre-gaming at side tracks before a Husker Sooner game. All I can say about that, too, is I'm glad there weren't video cameras around at the time. So. We've been there. Look, in Nebraska, you got a slogan here. Nebraska, it's not for everyone. Well, it sure ain't for Donald Trump, I'll tell you that. This guy is the opposite of everything here. Every opportunity he has, he weakens our country to strengthen his own hand. He mocks our laws. He sows chaos and division amongst us. And that's not even counting the time he was president. <laughs> so look, I want to be clear, because I know where I'm at, and I know my family. Many of you can probably remember when Republicans talked about freedom, they meant it. They would have never turned their back on our allies. The, tr the traditional Republican Party before Donald Trump contributed much to this state and this great nation.